is WCTO 9 News. The death toll from Hurricane Helene is now sitting at more than 200 people. It's the deadliest hurricane to hit the mainland U.S. since Hurricane Katrina. President Joe Biden was in Georgia and Florida today surveying the damage millions of people are dealing with today. Now, recovery efforts are underway to try to help those impacted. Thank you so much for spending time with us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Craig McKee. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. In Appalachia, many roads were wiped out by storms, cutting families off from resources. So now, Tri-State pilots are flying in to help one small plane at a time. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons was at the Lebanon airport when they took off. Warren County traffic, Skyhawk 9561, Crosslin runway. This isn't a regular flight. Neither is this one, neither are these. No, these pilots are on a mission. Clearly there was a need, we all saw it on the news. Taking the day off from recreational aviation, loading up, 24. setting off. We put in as much as we could carry. Delivering a little salvation instead. We started hearing the stories about the people they can't even get to. They, they, they had one plane brought in nothing but chainsaws so they can get people out there and start clearing this debris. This is Abe Lovatter's second trip. He first flew supplies to Western North Carolina on Tuesday. It was his first real look at the devastation left by storms brought by Hurricane Helene. What better way to use your, your gift of flight? Robert Wards helped with relief efforts before. He says he didn't think twice when disaster struck again. So was it an immediate thing for you where you're like, I'm going? Yep. With hundreds of people still cut off from resources, the Warren County Flying Neutrons Club is bringing as much as it can. These aviators have pallets of local donations. Fuel covered by the airport and goods bought out of pocket. We'll keep doing it as long as they need stuff. Out of the goodness of their own hearts. Whether it's a, a plane full of chainsaws or a plane full of some paper towels and baby formula, I mean, you guys really are making a difference. Thank you. You are. It's we a are, great thing. We're certainly trying. Again, every little plane is just a little thing, but there's a lot of planes coming in. The trek to recovery is long, and each day more local pilots are joining the journey, lending their wings. This is the least we can do. Taking flight. It is very fulfilling and satisfying to know that we're helping in some small way. Rallying one community to lift up another in need. Operation airdrop, you're all clear. In Lebanon, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News. And we do have an update from those pilots. We want you to know that they touched down at a drop zone near Charlotte this afternoon. They tell us the area was overwhelmed with air traffic, filled with other pilots from across the country doing good work and flying in aid as well. You see it there. It's like a nonstop stream of activity trying to get help to these people who need it. It's very heartwarming to see.